Okay, so by now you've become a little bit more comfortable using Scratch. Today we're going to practice animating our name and getting comfortable writing a few lines of code to create an animation. So for today, we're not going to be using the Scratch character. So to go ahead and delete him, just right click on your mouse or your laptop and select delete and that will get rid of the animation character. And you can go ahead and change your backdrop. And in this case, I'm just going to pick um, a quick nature scene and we'll pick the beach for now. But you can pick whichever one you like. And you're going to go ahead and create a new spirit. And if you go to the letters, you'll find a whole bunch of different letters that you can pick from. And for this case, I'm just going to go ahead and use the whole text and just write the word name. And in order to do that, I just need to go to costumes up here and I can just click on it twice. And I'm not going to use my name because I have a couple of examples uh, below, but I'm just gonna use the word name for this case. So you can go ahead and type what you want or you can go ahead and grab each of the letters of your name and I'll show that in the next video. So we'll go to the script that's now for our name and you can just click and move it wherever you'd like. And if I wanted to do just a simple animation of the word name, I would need to figure out how I want it to start. So if I go to events, I could choose to start it when the green flag is clicked, when the space bar is clicked, or when I click on the spirit itself. So there's lots of different ways to start the program. In this case, I'm just going to use the green flag. I would like my name to move in random positions. So I'm going to go to this block right here where it says go to mouse pointer and I'm going to select random position and I want this to continuously repeat over and over again. So I'm going to go to control and use the forever block and this will make my spirit move forever at a random position. So if I was to go ahead and press play it would just go all over the place. It's really really fast. So if I wanted to slow it down, I would just use this wait block. You can speed it up even more if you want. But if I wanted to, let's say, make it go a little bit slower, we can test and see how fast this will go now. It's a bit too slow. I could make it go a bit faster by maybe going point two. Check that out. And, and that's good. Okay. If I wanted to change the color and make all the colors change, I would go to looks and I would select change effect by 25 and you can go ahead and change the number to different uh, sets to check it out and you can check if you had different characters you could change different aspects of the spirit but in this case I'm just going to change the color effect by 25 and you'll see the colors will change so that's one way that you can choose to animate your name. So you can go ahead and type your name as a whole word and have your blocks make your name move and animate. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to animate with all the different letters of your name.